In this episode of 5 Minute Fix, I'm going to show you how to replace a toilet seat. And this is so much easier than you think. If you're doing this for the first time, don't worry, it's going to be so easy. As you can see, this toilet seat is heavily worn out and it's really hard to clean because of the stains. So it's time to replace it. I came into the bathroom with these three tools, two screwdrivers and one pair of pliers, but I didn't actually use any of these. So let's get started. First of all, make sure to order one with the right measurement as shown on this box. Measure the distance from the hinges to the tip of the bow. As shown in the thumbnail of this video, no tools will be required, but a pair of gloves is ideal if you're not into touching grime. If everything goes well, this shouldn't take more than 5 minutes. First of all, let me show you what I shouldn't have done. I used the screwdriver at this point but it was completely unnecessary as there's no screw cover at all. The screw was built into the hinge unlike the replacement seat I got. And if there's a screw cover, you can probably open it by hand. Now it's time to remove the old toilet seat. Just look for the plastic nut and bolt that protrude underneath. They're usually designed to be tightened and removed by hand. A torch may come in handy if your toilet is dark. After removing the plastic nuts on both sides, you should be able to remove the entire toilet seat and cover assembly. I like the design of this old toilet seat because you don't need any tools and the bolts are attached permanently to the hinge. So you don't need to apply any counter force and the bolts stay in place while you're twisting the plastic nuts. Now you can manage to pull out the entire assembly. There are toilet seat models where there are rubber rings that might fall off, so just watch out for those. It might also be a great idea to clean those holes because you don't have access to them when the toilet seat is installed. For the installation, just align the desired slot to the holes and drop the plastic screws in place. Hand tighten the wing nuts underneath. Hold the heads of the screws on top to make sure they won't move. If you want to see the behind the scenes of this video on how I film and what gadgets I use, please visit J Engine Photography, my other channel on YouTube. The link will be in the description below. After securing the toilet seat and cover in place, you can now test it to make sure it operates smoothly. In my case, it does, but as you can see, this is slightly longer than the toilet bowl. This is the wrong size actually, but I decided to keep it for two reasons. The first one is it's really comfortable to sit on being a little bit longer and wider. Second is I reckon that the bigger ones tend to be of higher quality than the smaller ones. The smaller one available then was more lightweight and didn't look as robust as this one. Okay, congratulate yourself for a job well done. If you like this video, please drop a like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.